How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Pretty good. What do you have here? I have a set of rare, unproduced Care Bear Cousins from Kenner. Oh, huh. Hold on, I actually have one of the Care Bears Cousins here. <laughs> Corey! <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my prototype Care Bear Cousins. This collection means a lot to me because I have been part of a semi-secret society of Care Bear collectors for over 20 years. What do you want, Chum? Look, it's your cousins. <laughs> the Care Bears. Why aren't they bears? Because the cousins are the animals. They're the friends of the Care Bears. What can you tell me about them? Well, these are straight from the Kenner Morgue, which was a place that they put Kenner toys when Kenner shut down. And so these are kind of seen as holy grail. Everything in that catalog was a holy grail. I mean, they look like they're fairly clean. You know, you have like these plushes, you have kids sleeping and yes. drooling on them and everything else. Well, these never made it out yeah, of Kenner. Um, in fact, if you look, they're hand painted, the nose and the eyes both because these original noses came from the factory with the 13 inch. Now, this one in particular is the rarest of the whole collection. Is that the little pig? It's the little pig, his name's Treat Heart. There's only four known to exist in the whole world. So what are you looking to do with them? I wanna sell them. Um, any idea how much you're looking to get? Well, I can tell you right now that this little piggy went for six grand last year on auction. And these are the only ones known to exist. So I was thinking for the collection, I'd cut you a break at like five grand. Yeah, this is one of the few times where I have absolutely no idea what this could be worth. Um, do you mind if I have a buddy come down and take a look at him? Not at all. Okay, um, Chumley Bear, you wanna go give him a call? Sure. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with a toy expert coming in to evaluate my collection. I know they're special items and that they're gonna go for quite a lot of money. How you doing, Steve? Good. Care Bear Cousins. Yeah. We need to be the guy to call. I was hoping I'd get you to the Care Bear stairs today. And show me how to do it. <laughs> Could you show him how to do it? Oh, love comes out of your belly. I have a lot of love and a lot of belly, so <laughs> I'm probably pretty good at it. <laughs> So when it comes to origins of toys like this, what's really unique is that these actually came from greeting cards. You had American Greetings had created a line of cards, Get Well Soon, and you had Grumpy, and he had a little cloud with rain on his belly, and that was kind of like the first inception. From about 84 to 86 is when you really saw the cartoon line thriving, the movie comes out. So it took a few years to get going, but once it did, it was, uh, it was a pretty big piece. And there was like, kind of like a cult following of Care Bear collectors out there. She seems like she knows a little something about that. Overall, they all look like they're in great condition. The eyes, the noses all look to be hand painted. And as for the pig you got here, now the pig's really unique because there's only a handful of them known to exist. Last I was aware, there was two or three of them that were actually the painted versions. There was one or two that was available that was unpainted. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Just say. He would be a prototype. He was never produced. He was one that everybody wanted. He's got a little bit of age in his legs. I wouldn't say it's cracks. We call it toy leprosy. But still, for a prototype, being what he is, he's in very, very good condition. So I assume you guys asked me to come here to give you a value? I mean, I have no idea what these could be worth. I think overall, you're going to have no problem for the plush getting 1400 for him. The pig is a little bit different. I believe that that's a much more rare toy. It's gonna to be a little bit different of a market for it. I think that you'll have no problem getting $3,000 for him. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for coming Thanks, in. Thanks, John. Corey, it, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. So what do you think? Um, Chum, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let you handle this. <laughs> have a good day. All right. All right. I'm gonna care about stare right now and try to get you to the price I want. All right. He gave you a number. $4,400, so I'm thinking $4,400. That's gonna be a little too high for me. How about 22? Ooh, that's tough. I don't think a Care Bear would approve of that. 22. This is Chummy Bear, oh, huh? spreading love and joy. Okay, how about, how about 3,500, and that's giving you such a deal. How about 31? All right, you got a deal. All right, 3,100. Meet me at the counter and we'll write it up. All right. 
I'm thrilled that the guys and I were able to make a deal today. I didn't walk away with the five grand I was hoping to have, but $3,100, I think it's a pretty good little junker car for my 16-year-old daughter.